Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 10. Write a program to find the sum of digits of an integer number input by the user. So, let us take a variable called n of type integer and we will ask the user to input the number. So, in a double quotation mark, I am going to write enter the number. And the double quotation mark and close these brackets. Now I'm going to take a variable called sum and equate it with value 0. Why 0? Because whenever you write any variable or declare any variable that is holding the value which is not required for this particular program, the previously executed program will occupy certain value for this particular variable in a memory location. In order to reset this, we have to equate this variable with the value 0. Now, let us take while iterative statement. While, here we are going to write the condition while n is greater than 0 and put colon as per the syntax of while iterative statement. And after that, we have to give indentation. So, indentation means it is a tab space. So, any instructions that comes under the influence of while should be written with the indentation. So, here I am going to take a variable called rem that is remainder is equal to so n modular division by 10. So, this gives me remainder. Next, I will write sum is equal to sum plus remainder and then I am going to write n is equal to n double forward slash that is called floor division divided by 10. And after that, I need to print. So, after executing these three set of statements repeatedly, this till this condition is true. In a double quotation mark, I am going to write the sum of digits is equal to, and the double quotation mark, put comma and write the variable sum. Now, let us check out the output for this particular program. Once we execute this program, it will ask the user to enter the number. Here, we need to enter any number that consisting of at least two digits. For example, I am going to enter here 1, 2, 3. That is 123 is the single number that consisting of three digits. Now, this particular value is stored in a variable called n. Here, sum is equated with value 0 while n is greater than 0. Here, you can check out while n is what? 123 greater than 0. Yes, condition is true. Once this condition is true, then these three statements will get executed. The first statement is what? Remainder. So, remainder rem is equal to n is 123 modular division by 10. So, modular division always returns as remainder. So, 10 ones are 10, 12 are 120. So, here 3 will be the remainder. So, here 3 is equated to the variable called remainder. Next statement, sum is equal to sum plus rem. So, here sum is equal to, for the first time sum value is what? 0. So, 0 plus remainder is 3. So, 0 plus 3 is 3 is equated to sum. Now, the third statement, n is equal to, n is 123 floor division by 10. So, floor division always gives me the quotient. So, 10 ones are 10, 12 are. So, here 12 is equated to the variable n. So, this completes the first iteration. First iteration is over. Next, control transfers to while loop. Now, it is going to check out the condition. Here n is greater than 0. So n value is what? 12. Here I am going to write while n is what? 12 is greater than 0. Yes, condition is true once again. All these three statements will get executed. The first statement is remainder is equal to. Now n value is 12 modular division by 10. So this gives me the remainder. So 10 ones are 10 ones are. So 2 is the remainder. So, 2 will be equated to the variable called remainder. Now, next statement, sum is equal to sum plus 
remainder. So sum is equal to now some value earlier in the previous iteration it was 3. So here 3 plus remainder is what? 2. So this gives me 5. So 5 is equated to the variable called sum. Next statement n is equal to n is 12 floor division by 10. So this gives me what? Quotient. So 10 ones are 10 ones are. So here 1 is equated to the variable n. So here second iteration is also over. Now n value is 1. Once again control transfers to while loop and it is going to check out this condition. So here I am going to write while n is what? n is 1 here. So 1 is greater than 0. Yes, condition is once again true. All these three set of statements will get executed once again. Here I am going to write remainder is equal to n value is 1, 1 modular division by 10. So modular division always gives me the remainder. So as per the basic mathematical rule, it says that when the numerator is less than denominator, then the numerator act as a remainder. So here remainder is 1. Next statement, sum is equal to sum plus remainder. Sum is equal to, in the previous iteration, the sum value was 5. So 5 plus remainder is 1 is equal to 6. Next third statement, n is equal to, n value is what? It is 1. Floor division by 10. So here quotient will be 0. So as per the basic mathematical rule, when the numerator is less than denominator, then the numerator is acting as a remainder and quotient will become 0. So hence, n is equated with value 0. So here, third iteration is also over. So once again, control transfers to while loop. Now, n value is what? 0. Is 0 greater than 0? Here you can write while 0 is greater than 0. No, condition is false. Once this condition is false, control directly comes out of this iterative statement and it is going to print the sum of digits is equal to and here we have taken the variable called sum. So here you can observe in the third iteration the sum is holding the value 6. So it is going to print 6. We can observe that we have got number 123. So it is going to separate each digit 1 plus 2 plus 3. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 it will become 6. So hence it is giving me the correct answer. Now it's time to go for executing this program. Let us execute and check out the result. We have come to VS code and here click on new file and here I'm going to type lab10.py and press enter. Here you can observe we have come to lab10.py file. Now let us write n is equal to, I am going to write int and inside of the round bracket I am going to write input and in a double quotation mark I will ask the user to enter the number. Now I am going to fast forward this video. Now it's a time to save this particular file by pressing Ctrl S and now let us execute. Go to run, click on start debugging and here click on python debugger. Click on python file debug the currently active python file. Here in the terminal at the bottom of the screen you can observe it is executing and it is going to ask the user to enter the number. Here I am going to enter 123 and I will press enter. Here you can observe the sum of digits is equal to 6. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. And if you want to check out this program along with the flowchart, then the link is given in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video.